Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review video for you guys and I have never done a review video before so I am so, so excited and so happy to be doing this right now. The product that I am going to be reviewing is a newer product. It just launched like last week. I don't know about you guys but I am a huge review person. I am pretty much obsessed with reviews, like not only review videos but especially like just going online, review like blogs or like Makeup Alley. I love that website for reading reviews on products. Ulta's website, Sephora's website, I just love reading real people's reviews on products. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys because um, everyone has been talking about these brushes since they just came out and they're absolutely gorgeous and I feel like Real Techniques makes really good quality brushes so anything that comes out from them you know people are going to be really excited about and they're going to want to know how the product is. So without any further ado I will go ahead and jump right in and let you guys know my thoughts on the new Bold Metal Collection brushes. First and foremost, let me show you these beautiful, beautiful brushes, which I'm sure you guys have already seen photos of, but these are what the brushes look like. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. That's what caught my attention when I first saw these brushes. I saw them and I just stopped and was like, what are these and why don't I have them like yesterday? When I saw these, I instantly fell in love with them. I feel like any girly girl would fall in love with these brushes. I mean, with the rose gold and the gold and silver with the ombre tips, it's just gorgeous. They are numbered, for example, the flat contour brush is number 301, the oval shadow brush is number 200, the arched powder brush is 100, and then the tapered blush brush is number 300. On the other side, they say RT on them for real techniques. And the thing that I really, really love about these brushes is the fact that when you're holding them they're really user-friendly like they have these grooves on the side on each side of them you know like how number like the yellow number two pencils have have the grooves on the side well this is like the exact same thing so it makes it really easy to hold and so you can apply your makeup I feel like a lot easier and it's just more user-friendly and the handle is pretty average size maybe a tad bit longer and it just tapers down into a point and I am just in love with the packaging. I really feel like I can't say anything else about the packaging other than it's gorgeous. Another thing that I will say about the brushes before I get into the individual reviews um, is the price. They are pretty pricey. I saw them. I really wanted all of them. There are seven in the entire collection. I saw them. I'm like, okay, I need all of those brushes. They're so gorgeous. But then a few things. Um, I saw the price and I saw that they were pretty pricey for Real Technique brushes. So I did not buy them all. Um, and then another thing is I did open up the packaging just to feel the bristles and one of the brushes in particular I felt like wasn't really that great of quality so I didn't purchase that one. But these ones I felt I really liked and I decided to give them a shot. I'll go ahead and get into an individual review so if you aren't interested in all of them, maybe just one or two, you guys will know more in depth on that particular one. I'm going to start out with my most favorite brush and this one is going to be the 301. This brush brush is literally everything. Like I am in love with this brush. I am totally 100% obsessed with it. I'm sure you guys have heard of the NARS Ida or Ida brush, which I feel like was really expensive for a makeup brush just to use for contouring. So I would go on their website and I would either it would be sold out or I would just talk myself out of it because it was pricey. I ended up not ever purchasing that brush and so I've kind of been on the hunt ever since then to find a good contour brush because I was just so intrigued by the way that one looked and how many amazing reviews that it had that I wanted to find something that was going to be pretty comparable. So when I saw this, I automatically thought of that NARS brush and I picked it up and I opened it and I felt it and guys, like the quality of this brush is far and beyond. It is amazing. Like it's one, so, so soft, but two, most importantly, it's really, really dense. And for me, having a dense brush is so important. I feel like this is the number one thing that I look for in a makeup brush. You want your brushes to be dense. In my opinion, you want them to be dense because if they are dense and they're really going to pick up the product and they're going to evenly distribute it on your face, especially if you're looking for a powder brush to do like a full face, like full coverage look, I would definitely recommend something that is dense. 
Now, that being said, since this is dense, I feel like it doesn't blend out very well for our contour. So what I do when I use it, I literally swipe three times. It's so, so simple, so easy. And then I also, you know, I do like my cheekbones and my forehead to just kind of sculpt my face. And then I go in with another brush and blend it out. This one is kind of pricey. My receipt here, this one was $25.99. So it is pricey, but I feel like it is definitely worth every single penny. Then this brush, like I said, it just makes it so easy, especially if you're a beginner at makeup and you're a little bit un for certain how to contour. This brush will is foolproof. Like you will be able to do it if you're a beginner, even if you're not a beginner, and you just want something to make contouring easier. You know your life easier. This is the tool. It's amazing. I really cannot rave about this brush enough. I'm so happy I bought this. If there was one brush in this entire collection that I purchased, it would be this one. And I definitely will be purchasing this in the future, but I don't think I'm going to have to for a long time because, again, it's really good quality. I have my brushes for literally years. And, I mean, I'm looking at my brush. That's why I keep looking at my vanities right in front of me. So I'm looking at all my brushes and I'll tell you, like, some that I've had for literally, like, three or four years. If you take good care of them and you wash them and you treat them well, then they're going to last you. My next favorite is the 300, the tapered blush brush. It's perfectly chiseled, this brush. Like, it's perfectly designed. And, once again, it does have the light pink to white bristles and the rose gold handle. What I really like about it is that it is multi-purpose and multifunctional. You can use this brush for so many things. So once again, if you are a beginner, you don't have to go out and know like what brush to use for what. You can just grab this and use it for multiple things. So for example, the intended purpose, like on the packaging, it does say to use it as a blush brush, but you can use it as a blush brush. You can use it as a highlight brush, under eye concealer. This would even be perfect for liquid foundation all over the face. And this one here was $23.99, but the fact that you can use it for multiple things, you definitely get your money's worth out of the brush. The only downside that I would say about this brush is that it is not as dense as the flat contour brush. I would like it more if it were a bit more dense. I would say the density is like medium on this. But um, I would definitely still repurchase this one. I am in love with this one as well. So for the next brush, we have the 200 Oval Shadow Brush. And when I first saw this, I was I automatically thought, I'm going to use this for an all-over lid color. I didn't really have any other plans for this brush. But then when I got home and started playing with it and using it, I actually used this as just like a crease color, a blend out. And it does say on the packaging that you can use this as a lid and blending brush. So I did use it as a blending brush in the crease. Like I said, you can use this for the all over lid, you can use it for blending, you can use it for the brow bone, and you can also use this for under eye concealer as well. Even though it is smaller than the previous brush, I feel like you can definitely still get away with using this as an under eye concealer brush. And also you can use this as just like a spot treating brush as well for concealer. This one I feel like is just a really good all over eye shadow brush. It's pretty thick. And it is definitely dense enough for an eyeshadow brush. I don't have any complaints on this brush whatsoever. I don't think the price of this one's very bad. $2.99 for an Oliver multifunctional eyeshadow brush. I think it's really reasonable. Guys, this, this video is almost over. I'm on my last brush. This is the 100 Iced Powder Brush. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really care for this brush that much. I don't know. I just I just don't care for it that much. And I don't know if I'm going to be returning it or keeping it. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Um, this one here, I feel like could be a lot more dense. And I know I keep talking about density, but especially for a foundation brush or a powder brush, I feel like it's very important. And this one is just not very dense at all. And I feel like for an Oliver powder brush, that it should be like more full and thick. And I don't feel like this is full and thick enough. And maybe it's just me who thinks like that. There could be millions of people out there who use brushes just like this for powder, but I feel like if you're wanting a full coverage, but granted, not everyone's wanting full coverage. I think this would be perfect if you're wanting just like a sheer to medium coverage for powder foundation, but if you want a full coverage, I just don't feel like this is going to be that great for that purpose. And typically when I do a full face makeup, I want it to be full coverage. I use this to blend out my blush and my bronzer. I don't use it as an all over powder brush. So far, I'm just really not that impressed. I don't know if you guys can really see that very well. But it's just, I don't know, it's just not very dense. And 
I just feel like it's really thin for being a powder brush and like I said it could just be me and my opinions and my thoughts on it. I'm just kind of disappointed with this one especially for the price. This one was also $25.99 just like the flat contour brush and I would not repurchase this brush. One other thing that I wanted to mention was on the back of each of the brush cases it does have a see it in action brush tutorial so if you have a smartphone you can just scan it and then watch on how the brushes are used which is really awesome especially for beginners who may be a little uncertain how to use a particular brush. Alright friends well that completes my tutorial or not a tutorial. This completes my review on the Real Techniques Bull Metal Collection brushes. So overall, I think that they are amazing brushes. I did feel the foundation brush in store and it was really thin. It looks really intriguing. It has like angles on the side and then the back it's flat. So it looks really intriguing. It looks like a pyramid. But I just didn't like the way it felt. It was really thin for a foundation brush. I also have an angled gel eyeliner brush um, that you can of course use for your eyebrows as well. And then they also had, because they have seven brushes. I'm trying to think of the other one that they had. They had a um, blending brush or like a crease brush that I, I felt that and it was really nice. But I already have some in my collection that are like my holy grail so I don't ever really buy blending brushes because I have some that I really enjoy. I encourage you guys to read more reviews and watch more review videos on these brushes or even go out and store and feel them and see what you think. Um, because I do think that they're really amazing brushes and don't be like so shocked by the price because they are a little pricey but I, I feel like you pay for what you get and they are good quality brushes if you pick the right ones. Um, I would not recommend all of the brushes by any means but there are you know like the first three that I showed you I would definitely recommend and I feel like are a staple in any makeup brush collection. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and I will have a blog post on all of these brushes linked down below. Um, basically this video but in a blog post form and I'll put pictures up of the brushes so you guys can see them more in detail. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is 2015 so happy new year. I hope you guys have an amazing and awesome new year. Remember that you're beautiful and you're special and make this year the best year yet. Have a great day guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends!